Hello, Berkshire Hathaway Chicago, and welcome to another Cup of Joe, a jolt to your business. So today we're going to talk about uh, your skill set, but before we do that, how's your mindset? We've spent the last four weeks. Have you been getting to sleep early? Have you been exercising? Have you shut off the news? Are you, are you just clearing your mind so you have a great mindset? Hopefully you are. Let's talk about your skill set. Skill set, what is it? It's a person's range of skills or their abilities. So it can be sometimes learned. Uh, it's something that you can practice to improve. Uh, or sometimes it's learning a tool or utilizing tool or technology to help you with your skills. So before we get into that, so let's talk about, there's a story of two uh, lumberjacks go into the woods. They each have rusty old axes. And they're gone. They're set into the woods to challenge to chop down a big, uh, sequoia tree. Each go to chop their own tree down. And they both go away. The first guy gets there and he starts hacking away at the big sequoia. He's just tirelessly chopping away at it. The other guy goes over there and looks at the axe and thinks, boy, if I spend an hour sharpening the axe, I can chop this tree down faster. So long story short, an hour later, the guy that sharpened the axe comes out of the woods. Tree was already down. The other guy comes out 30 minutes later. He's all sweaty. He's exhausted. He's got, you know, blood, bloody hands and he didn't chop the tree down. So the point is, we need to sharpen our ax to be better. And so let's talk about that. Which lumberjack are you? Are you sharpening your ax or not? So let's, some of the skills um, that you could start to use to sharpen your skill set. We had the listing workshop a couple weeks ago. We talked about asking really good seller questions. Have you been practicing that? Or maybe you need to practice that. How about overcoming objections? That's a big one. You should need to practice that. Um, and so we, we shot eight videos on the listing workshop. Go in and watch them on Cabernet Corner and practice your skill sets with that. We're doing a buyer workshop in April that's going to be on talking about how to ask better buyer questions, how to, how to get buyers assigned buyer representation agreements, how to do buyer presentations. You'll be able to practice that as well. I get a lot of questions about calling your sphere of influence. I don't know what to say to them. Remember the Ford principle, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. So that's just focus on those things. Let's talk about some tools. How about Moxie? Are you using MoxieWorks? It's a great tool to help you communicate more efficiently with your clients. Uh, you should be doing that. Do we need to set time to practice that? How about Remind? It's a very powerful tool that can help you drill down and find people who might be moving in the near future. Uh, you need to spend time learning that. How about Spacio? It's open house season. Are you using the Spacio app? It helps easily pe get people in registered and then follow-up systems, all right? So those are some skills and some tools. Um, what skill or tool do you need to work on to sharpen your ax, all right? So get to work on it in the next two weeks. And remember, it's not who you know, it's who knows what you do. Have a great week.